How do you solve problems like this? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said kanina, we're going to solve problems na about sets, pero either naka Venn diagram siya na form or nagre require siya na gumawa ka ng Venn diagram. At uh, pagkasama-samahin natin lahat ng mga uh, napag-usapan na natin sa ating earlier na videos on sets. This is actually part 4 ng series na yun. So if you haven't seen the other videos yet, ilalink ko lang dito sa taas, sa i-button if you're watching this on YouTube para mapanood niyo muna sila. Okay? And uh, before we dive into our discussion, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is by buying our merch. You can visit shop.teamlaika.com to see yung mga designs ng shirts, and caps and mugs and things that um, I made for this team. So, sa lahat ng mga bumili na, marami salamat sa inyo. Uh, sa lahat ng mga share ng photos ninyo wearing the shirts, I'm really happy that you're enjoying them. And sa mga bibili pa lang, marami salamat din. If you can't afford to buy any merch naman, that's okay. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Let's just uh, maybe say a little prayer for the ones who did kasi they're helping support this and keep the lights on na para mapagpatuloy ko yung paggawa ng content na ito para sa inyo. Okay? And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung discussion natin on solving problems na may na-involve na sets. And again, medyo basic muna yung approach natin. Uh, ito yung mag-involve ng dalawang sets maximum no sa isang problema. Hindi muna natin pag-uusapan yung pagtatlo na yung sets kasi I think that would add even more difficulty dun sa situation. Ihiwalay na lang natin yon. Pero this video right here is very important for you to get to that point. Alright? And again, if you haven't seen the other videos yet, you can go back to yung ating first lesson, which is yung introduction on sets. Again, we talked about how sets are collections ng distinct objects or elements sa loob niya. Okay? So, kung kunwari meron kang uh, isang set ng emojis na ito, you have four elements in that set. Yun din yung tatawag natin cardinality. Okay? Ibig sabihin apat yung laman ng set na yon. Alright, so let's just do a quick recap uh, nung napag-usapan na natin ng mga symbols before. Union is the set of all distinct elements that are in A or in B. Ibig sabihin kung meron kang set A, set B, lahat ng laman noong pinagsama na dalawang sets na yon. Ang uh, intersection naman is the set of all distinct elements that are in both A and B. Yung word na yon na both is very important kasi dapat nasa A na siya, nasa B pa siya. Again, dapat nasa A at B siya. So, yung intersection na yon. And then, yung difference naman consists of elements that are in A but not in B. Ibig sabihin, kung um, ang difference ay uh, difference ng set A at set B, kukunin mo yung lahat ng nasa A lamang pero hindi na kasama yung mga nasa B at hindi na rin kasama yung mga nasa A at nasa B rin. So, parang merong kumagat dun sa pie natin. Yun yung explanation natin. And again, ililink ko naman dito sa taas yung full playlist. You can watch that. That is in, in video number 3 or part 3 ng series na ito. Okay? Now, before we go on to yung sample natin, importante rin natin pag-usapan yung complement. Hindi pa natin na napag-uusapan, pero introduce natin dito kasi magagamit talaga siya sa ganitong klaseng problem. Ano ibig sabihin ng complement? And again, it's complement ha, E, hindi I. Ang compliment is kapag uh, you're saying good things sa isang person. So, ganda naman ang shirt mo or ang ganda ng hair mo today. And again, may video din tayo on grammar ha, yung compliment versus compliment. Ililink ko na lang din dito sa taas. Okay? This is compliment. Ibig sabihin, siya ay yung mga nasa labas ng set na yon. For example, if we have set A, tapos meron kang condition na ganito, ito yung problema. Sabi, if set A is the number of people who like dogs, okay, so again, these are the people who like dogs in a group of 30 people, and there are 23 people in set A, how many people do not like dogs? Okay, so emphasize natin yun, hinahanap yung do not. Okay, now, ano mangyayari dito? Now, again, if we have set A right there, all we have to do 
is to look at yung relasyon niya naman doon sa ating universal set. Na ano ba yung universal set? Ang universal set ay lahat nung mga involved dun sa sitwasyon na yun or dun sa condition na yun. So dito, ang sabi, meron daw group. Okay, may group of 30 people. Big sabihin lahat-lahat kasama yung A, dapat meron kang 30 people. Okay? Now, sa A, ang sabi meron kang 23. Okay? So, 23 people sa loob ng set na ito. Na anong hinahanap natin? Ang hinahanap natin ay yung mga nasa labas ng set A. Now, ang itsura niya, okay, ang notation niya is like that. A, tas merong, uh, kumbaga, kudlit, may pa apostrophe sa, sa ibabaw. So, A, tapos yung may kudlit na yan, ibig sabihin complement ng set A. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, kung 30 ang laman ng universal set, okay, at ang hinahanap lang natin ay yung mga nasa labas ng set A, which uh, contains 23 uh, people, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin ito, ang gagawin lang natin is 30, again, yun yung universal set, minus yung 23 na nasa loob ng set A. So, ibig sabihin nun, the answer here would be 7 people. Okay? If we have a condition like this, and again, medyo hawig siya dun sa kanina, pero dinagdagan na natin ng bagong, uh, bago pang mga information. Sabi, you are in a group of 30 people. Okay? So, in a group of 30 people, 23 like dogs. Now, may dagdag, 15 liked cats. And 10 liked cats and dogs. So, how do we know kung ano yung mga, uh, yung mga dami na mga people doon sa specific types of groups. Okay? Tingnan natin. Kung ito drawing natin, ganito na yung magiging drawing niya. Okay? So, kung hahayaan natin na yung set A, kumbaga itong red na ito, would be the number of people who like dogs. Tapos, yung set B natin, yung blue, or the people naman who like cats. Okay? Ilalagay na natin yung information na binigay dito. Now, ang first nating question is this. How many liked both cats and dogs? Okay? Sabi both daw, cats and dogs. Again, pag sinabi natin both, na pag-usapan din kanina sa definition, that would be the intersection. Yun yung mga taong gusto na ng cat, gusto pa ng dogs. Now, nasa problem, given na siya, kasi ang sabi, 10 liked cats and dogs. So, saan natin lalagay yun ngayon? Now, very important na skill nyo pag-draw ng Venn diagram sa ganitong klaseng tanong. Now, saan ko siya ilalagay? Ilalagay ko siya sa gitna, dito sa intersection na ito. That would be 10. Now, bakit 10? Kasi 10 people liked cats and dogs. Okay, nasa given naman yon. So, dito lalagay ko 10. Now, paano naman ko ang question ay ganito? How many only liked dogs? Only liked dogs. Now, dahil meron ng word, and again, ang keyword natin dyan with the word only, this is very important, okay? Doon sa kanina, yung both ang importante ngayon, only naman. Pag sinabing only, ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi nakasama yung mga people na gusto rin ng cats. Kasi ang gusto mo yung only dogs lang ang gusto, okay? So, ilan yun? Na ang sabi sa problem kanina, merong 23 people who like dogs. Nasa yung 23 na yon. Ang 23 na yon would be itong buong circle na ito. Okay? Yan yung 23. Total na siya ng lahat ng people who like dogs kasama yung mga people who like both dogs and cats. Now, sabi natin 10 na yung nandito. So, kung 10 na yung nandyan, ilan ngayon yung ang gusto lang nila ay dogs? Kukunin natin ngayon yung 23. Tapos, ito yung... Uh, total ng people who like dogs, ibabawas natin ngayon yung intersection which is 10. So, the answer would be 13. Okay? So, how many people like only dogs? Only the word is yung uh, pinaka-keyword natin. That would be 13. So, lalagay ko lang dito, 13. Again, 13 would be the people who only liked dogs. Now, paano naman kung ito? How many people liked cats or dogs? Now, dahil cats or dogs lang naman siya, that would be lahat-lahat ito. Okay? So, lahat na nasa A at lahat din ang nasa B. Okay? Yan yung shape na yan, yung parang pinaka-figure 8. So, how do I 
know kung ano yung nandyan. Okay? Ang una kong gagawin would be, titinan ko uli yung ibig sabihin ng B or ano yung laman niya. Sabi nito, 15 liked cats. Pero ang sabi sa given, liked cats lang, hindi liked only cats. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung 15 na yan ay yung lahat ng laman din ng B na ito. Now, same as yung ginawa natin kanina, para makuha ko kung ilan yung tanging cats lang ang gusto, gagawin ko pa yung step na 15 minus 10. Now, saan galing yung 15? 15 kasi is lahat ng nasa loob ng B. Ito yon 15 like cats. Ima minus 10 ko kasi itong 10 na ito, again, counted na siya dun sa both. These are the people who like both cats and dogs. So, ang gagawin ko, 15 minus 10 will leave me with 5. Ito yung magiging 5. Now, bakit importante yon Kasi, notice, kung ang ilalagay ko dito ay 15, okay, sample lang natin ha, kunwari lang. Kung nilagay ko dito ay 15, at tingnan ko yung buong bilog na ito, tingnan yung number na nasa loob na niya. Meron ka ng 10, meron ka pang 15. Which would mean na ang total of people who like cats magiging 25. Eh mali yun, bakit? Kasi 15 lang yung nandun sa ating given. Okay? So again, that is the importance ng pagpupuno ng Venn diagram properly. So ganyan yung itsura niya. 13, only dogs. 10, both. And then 5, only cats. So, pag tinanong tayo ng how many like cats or dogs, okay, anong ibig sabihin nun? It's actually the union. Okay, ng A and ng B. Okay, na ano pinagkaiba ng union tsaka intersection? Ang intersection dapat nandun sa pareho. Ang union, lahat ito. So, to solve that, ang gagawin ko would be 13 plus yung 10 plus 5. So, that would be 23, 28. Inad ko lang sila. Okay? So, 28 like cats or dogs. Okay? Now, tingnan natin yung last na problem. Sabi, how many people didn't like cats nor dogs? Now, importante dito to note yung word na didn't. Okay? Bakit? Kasi yung didn't, ibig sabihin, ayaw niya ng cat, ayaw niya ng dog, Basically, sila yung masasabi natin complement ng set A at saka set B. It's actually the complement ng union ng A at B. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin? Sabi dun sa universal set daw, kasi ang buong group ay 30 people. Okay? So, kung 30 people, lahat-lahat ng tao na nandito, okay, 30 kasi siya, at meron ka ng Yung nasa loob ng mga bilog, which is, nasagot na natin kanina, 28, ilan yung natitira? Ilan yung natitira? Ibabawas lang natin. So, magiging 30 minus 28 or 2. Two people ang may ayaw ng cats, ayaw pa ng dogs. Okay? So, yan yung ating sagot. Maiiwan yung dalawa sa labas. Okay? So, nabuunan natin yung ating Venn diagram. Now again, isa-isa lang siya. Okay? You have to take it one step at a time. Each statement matters. Kadalasan kaya nagkakamali kasi may mga nawawaglit na details or keywords. So, i-recap lang natin ng mabilis. Okay? Sabi natin, ito yung symbol for union, symbol for intersection, difference, and complement. Now, para meron tayong clue dun sa pagtatranslate ng word problem, may mga keywords nga tayo. Again, I don't want you to fully rely on the keywords ha, pero this will help you understand this. Kaya nagkakaproblema kadalasan sa math is kapag word problems na, meron ng aspeto ng English. So, those who are comfortable with just equations, kaya nila isolve, pero pag nasa English na na word problem, na iwanan din sila. So, you have to take it one step at a time. Look for these words. They can give you a clue kung ano yung kailangan gawin. Sa union... Ang ating magic word is or. Okay? So, again, kanina, cats or dogs, ang ginawa natin, union. Union nung dalawang sets. Intersection, the word and, or both. Okay? Or kung tatlo na yung sets, which we'll talk about in a later video, all three, ganon, or all four. Okay? So, now you have and as the intersection. Ang difference naman, pwede yung may word na only. Okay? Katulad kanina, only dogs or only cats, or cats but not dogs. Okay? Pwede yon. Now, yung complement, pwede rin yung word na, again, kanina, pinag-usapan natin, 
neither. Okay, so again, nasa labas siya. Lahat ng nasa loob ng universal set, pero wala dun sa mga sets na mention. And of course, yung but not then. Depende sa gamit na yan. Okay? So you have to really be careful. Now, uh, mas maganda if you answer it on your own. So I'm going to give you time to answer this quick quiz. It's a lot like yung first natin ginawa together, but this time you're going to have to do it alone. So I'll give you time, and then at the end, it discuss natin kung ano yung mga tamang sagot. Alright? If you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, so ito yung ating sample problem, sabi. Sa ating quiz, in a group of 100 people, 70 people liked coffee, 45 liked tea, and 28 liked both. So again, binigay ko sa inyo yung mga numbers, pero hindi natin nilagyan ng laman yung ating Venn diagram. Kasi I want you to form itong Venn diagram ito, or complete all the information on your own. Isa-isahin lang natin, okay? Now, first na binigay is that, Ang total daw ay 100 people. So again, dapat nandito to, 100, lahat-lahat sila yon ha, lahat-lahat sila. Now, sabi, 70 people like coffee. But pag sinabing 70 people like coffee, eto yon, lahat yon. Lahat yan ay 70. Okay? Ang sabi naman, lahat daw who like tea ay 45. But again, lahat yon. That would be 45. Kaya lang, 28 liked both. Now, if you notice, I'm using the purple ink for yung intersection kadalasan. Kasi again, red yung set A natin, blue yung set B natin. So, the idea would be yung nasa gitna niya, mix ng red and blue, purple. Okay? So, itong part na yan, yan ay 28. Okay? So, kung yun ang sitwasyon, ibig sabihin, hindi natin pala ilagay yung 70 at 45 lang. Kasi we will start with yung nasa loob, which is that 28 liked both. Okay? Now, ilalagyan ko lang siya ng black na yan, para mas visual, para dun sa mga uh, medyo hindi masyado matingkad yung ating phone, no? So, 28 yung nasa gitna. These are the people who like coffee and tea. Now, kung 70 people liked coffee, at ang hinahanap natin na ilalagay natin dito sa part na ito are those who only like coffee, Okay? Hindi dapat kasama yung 28. So, ang gagawin natin would be 70 minus 28 for this part right here. Okay? I'll keep yung mga scratch dito para dun sa mga um, gustong sundan ito the entire time ha. Pero pagdating sa exams, of course, you follow yung format na hinihingi ng teacher. Now, 70 minus 28 is going to give us 42. Okay? 
Yung 42 na yan, nalagyan din natin ng red kasi yan yung people who only liked coffee. Okay? Now, again, total nito, 70. Now, doon naman tayo sa people who like tea, that would be 45. Again, 45 itong buong bilog na ito. Pero dahil meron na akong 28 dyan, para makuha ko itong part na ito, okay, ang gagawin ko would be 45 minus 28. Okay, so ilan yon? That would give us 17. Okay? So, 17 ito. Alright? So, 42 people only liked coffee, 28 liked both, and 17 only liked tea. Okay? Now, kung titignan natin yung tanong, how many people liked both coffee and tea, sabi natin ang both is the intersection, so that would be 28. Okay? Now, how many only liked coffee? Nakita na natin kanina, ito yung ay, sinolve natin, 70 minus 28. Only coffee, that would be 42. Now, those who only like tea, that would be 17. Okay? And then, how many like coffee or? Again, that is the magic word. Or. Tea. Sabi natin kapag or, union ito. Okay? So, that would be 42 plus 28 or 17 na lang plus another 17. So, that is 87. Okay? And then, how many people liked neither coffee nor tea? Now, again, neither, ibig sabihin not, no? This is negative. Ibig sabihin, ayaw niya ng coffee, ayaw niya pa ng tea. Okay. Now, ang sabi natin kanina that doon na papasok yung ating complement, no? But if naguluhan pa kayo sa neither at either, we we actually have a video on that na sa sa grammar series natin. Ililink ko na lang dito sa taas if you're watching on YouTube, okay? Now, ano yung gagawin natin para makuha natin yung sagot sa huli? 100 yung laman ng universal set. Ibig sabihin lahat-lahat ito 100 dapat. Pero ang total lang nung nasa loob ng mga bilog is 87. So, para makuha ko kung ilan yung laman sa labas na ayaw na ng coffee, ayaw pa ng tea, gagawin ko 100 minus 87. So, the answer here, dito natin lalagay, would be 13. Ito yung dami ng tao na ayaw ng coffee, ayaw ng tea. So, the answer is 13. Alright? Now, if you know... Um, Para i-check natin ito, pwede natin i-add yung 13, 17, 28, at 42. Ang lalabas dapat, 100. Kasi yun yung laman ng ating universal set. Okay? Now, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. Again, it's a little bit tricky. So, kung kailangan natin balikan itong lesson na ito, ulitin nyo uli. That's the reason why I put it up on YouTube and why we're taking it slow. Okay, medyo ma mabagal, himay ng maigi. And again, we'll talk about more naman sa susunod na videos. Okay, and if you want more quick quiz questions, I'll be posting more in my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla in Instagram para sa mga bagong quick quizzes natin. We use the story function sa Instagram. And of course, the Team Laika account din, at Team Laika naman on Instagram for the throwback questions and important announcements. And if you have a TikTok account, we also have quick quizzes there and new lessons, especially the ones na feeling ko masyadong maikli para sa YouTube. You can go to at Team Laika for the English and Math videos and at Laika Maravilla naman for the motivational videos, tips, advice, and more personal stuff. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Sana nung mag-exam din sila. Dati mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. Thank you for watching. If you want to be a channel member, channel sponsor, and to help uh, support this channel, you can click on the i button here if you're watching on YouTube to learn more about that. Alright? Thanks for watching. As you always see sa channel to never stop learning. Aja aja kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now. Alright, so thank you for watching until the end of this video. Again, if you want to revisit some of the older topics, ililink ko na lang din sila dito. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I also have my second channel, yung like a maravilla. So if you want to look behind the scenes sa mga nangyayari, click nyo na lang din dito.